Finally, now you can be stress-free or anxiety-free from punctures if you own an Interceptor or Cotrail GT because Royal Enfield has launched these two bikes with alloy wheels. Yes, this is the 2023 Interceptor, 2023 Cotrail GT. They both come with alloy wheel versions. Now, the prices for this Interceptor start at Rs. 3,3000 and this alloy wheel version costs 3,21,000 whereas this Cotrail GT costs Rs. 3,19,000 and the alloy wheel version costs 3,39,000. Besides these alloy wheels, there are few more updates. So, let's just dive into what these bikes now get. Starting with the Interceptor. Now, obviously, like I said before, it gets 18-inch alloy wheels at both ends but the updates are not just restricted to that. You now get the same LED headlight that you find on the Super Meteor 650. Now, so this should provide much better illumination than the old halogens which are not that great at night. Moving on, you now get adjustable clutch and brake lever, same like the ones that you find on the Super Meteor 650. Yes, they are a bit thicker so they might rob you a little bit of the good clutch and brake feel but hey, you can adjust them to your liking and it helps you make the ride that much more suitable to your riding style. Moving on, you get the same uh, grips that you find on the J-series bikes like the Hunter or the Classic or anything as well as the rotary switches. Now the rotary switches housing is not the one that you find on the Super Meteor that has the special cast aluminum billet whereas this is a plastic unit so a little bit cost compromise there. Moving on, you get two new colors with the alloy wheels. This is the black ray color. There is also a Barcelona blue color. Now, both of these colors come with alloy wheels, like I said, but they also come with a darked out finish for the engine as well as the exhaust. Now, this is the same 648cc parallel twin motor. It makes 47 odd PS like before, but it's now made at 150 RPM higher. Torque has also seen a minor bump. It's 52.3 Nm which is 0.3 nm more than before so you might hope that it is a little bit more peppy than before but the curb weight of this bike has shot up by around four four and a half kilos how will it affect its overall performance well we'll get to that once we get this bike for a proper road test but this dark theme that you see on the engine even the crankcase the exhaust well the older bike suffered with a pitting effect especially on the crankcase cover now that is not expected to happen here and it lends this bike a more grunge feel. Moving on to the rear, you can see this lovely exhaust as well as the alloy wheels. These were the changes to the Interceptor. Now on to the sportier Cafe Racer. Now just like the Interceptor, the Continental GT also gets two colors in the alloy wheels version. This is the slipstream blue, there is also a grey color in the alloy wheels. but the bigger update here is the tires. Now, this isn't running the SEAT zooms that the Interceptor still comes on, but for this time, Centuro ST tires. Now, these should be more grippy and suited to this sporty cafe racer. Front is a cross ply, the rear is a radial unit. So, a rear 18 inch tire is something that we are quite keen on trying out on the Continental GT. But it is a bit confusing that Royal Enfield chose to spec just the Cafe Racer and not the Roadster with these better tires. Hopefully, we'll get an answer once we get to ride this bike. Moving on, it gets the same updates as the Interceptor, same LED headlight, same adjustable levers. Oh, I forgot one thing. This now gets the same USB charger that is located on the left hand side and that's also there on the Interceptor. Moving on, you get the same dark engine theme, same dark exhaust, as well as the same alloy wheels. Now, like I mentioned right at the start, prices of both of these motorcycles have shot up significantly. And Royal Edfield has sort of offered quite a fair few new bits to offset the steep price hike. And they should be quite functional in the real world as well. Now we are itching to ride both of these bikes and perhaps even take its cruising sibling out for a proper road test to find out which exactly is the bike best suited for you. So if you do have any queries about both of these bikes or perhaps the 650cc family as a whole, do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Follow us on our Instagram page as we have some cool content out there as well. And until next time, thank you for watching.